Here are my first impressions of the new Belangerie line from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters came out with a new body care line. This came out with six new body mists, lotions, and body oils. Starting with Crown Roulettes, this one I would describe as a warm floral. It's very perfumey and it has a blend of really beautiful scents that can layer very well with other perfumes. Here you're getting um, black currant and pink pepper. There's a beautiful jasmine and vanilla and cashmere at the end. I would definitely pair this with a lot of um, jasmine perfumes, grapey perfumes. And I give this one a 9 out of 10. It's beautiful. Phrase Meringue I would describe as a white floral, a fruity white floral. At the beginning you're getting bergamot and you're getting some type of tea. I'm also seeing, there's also watery freshia and orchid. And there is definitely a patchouli and vanilla note. Um, I think this would pair very, very well with white florals, warm floral perfumes, such as uh, Flower Bomb and La Vies Belle. And I also, there's also, I think, rose listed in these notes, but I didn't detect rose or caramel in this. I would give this an 8 out of 10. Crème Caramel is a woody, spicy scent. It smells to me like Bonfire Bash without the liquor scent. As far as the notes go, there is kind of a smoky pink pepper, clove. I'm getting very strong woody notes, very oody, um, and it kind of reminds me of kind of a smoky fall vibe. I did not get any caramel with this, don't be fooled by the name. This is nice. I think this is probably better for more fall winter months. I would give this a 7 out of 10. Macaron pistache to me is a nutty gourmand for sure. With the notes you're getting, um, definitely pistachio, you're getting cardamom, you're getting a little bit of florals in the, mid, um, in the midst of it. Um, they're kind of indistinguishable to me, but they're definitely there. And then definitely I'm getting also tonka and whipped cream. Uh, this is beautiful, very complex. Compared to Kealion pistachio, yes, this is similar. I like this one better though. There's something that has like, there's some kind of bitter earthiness in Young Pistachio that I just don't like. Um, but this one is sweet and it does have that estrogen quality, but it's not as bad to me. Um, so this one I would give a 7 out of 10. Souffle Vanille to me is a warm floral with rose. And then again, this is a very simple um, scent profile. It has its rose, vanilla, caramel. You get all that, maybe a little bit of cocoa in it. Uh, it's pretty s simple, um, least complex out of this collection. This one is nice. I like it. That's the type of scent I like, but it's not unique. It's not groundbreaking, but I would give this an 8 out of 10. The last one is Tarte au Citron, which despite the name, no lemon, no citrus, this I would describe as a sharp, woody scent. Very masculine. Unfortunately, this was a very big disappointment for me because I was expecting it to be lemon and vanilla and cake. No, it's not. None of that. And I can see why it's online only. Uh, it is very masculine. It is sharp. It has a violet, but not the type of violet that I like. A bitter violet. Very amber. A very sharp amber that gives it a lot of saltiness and sharpness. It does become a little bit powdery as well. Um, but again, it's just not my favorite. There's just something off with the scent notes. I'm thinking that maybe it's the auras that's giving it that, that bitterness that just bothers it and I think overwhelms this fragrance. And honestly, I actually don't really like this, so I would kind of give this a 3 out of 10. Overall, I think this is actually a great release. I like most of these scents. I think that they have great performance, meaning that when I spray them, they do last. Uh, I mean, they're body mist, so they're not gonna last you past like, I don't know, like two or three hours, but they have pretty good longevity for what it is. The packaging, beautiful, love the aesthetics of this. I actually would recommend you try this out. Um, I did not buy the lotions or body oils. I might get a couple of the body oils, but I just didn't think that they were necessary. So um, let me know if you have any thoughts or any questions, and stay tuned for my layering combos for these. Ranking the Boulangerie Paris body care line from Urban Outfitters from my most to least favorite. Number one is Creme Roulette. This is a beautiful, warm, floral, very perfumey, and 9 out of 10. 
Second place goes to Fray's Meringue, which is a white floral with some fruitiness. I would give this one an 8 out of 10. Third place goes to Souffle Vanille. It's a warm floral, but not particularly unique. An 8 out of 10. Fourth place goes to Macaron Pistache, which is a gourmand. I do like this one a lot, though. A 7 out of 10. Fifth place goes to Creme Caramel, which is not car caramel in it. No caramel at all. I would give this one a 7 out of 10. Last is Tarte au Citron. Not worth getting, in my opinion. This does not have any lemon or vanilla. Do not be fooled by the packaging. Um, this is a very um, masculine, woody scent. This one gets a 3 out of 10 for me. Now, time to let me know what you think. Are you planning on getting any of these fragrances? Let me know. Until next time, I'm Pearl Denise and this is Beauty Body Pearl.